What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be working on my wife's Mercedes GL450 again. Uh, this is a continuation of our uh, build series where we're kind of doing a little bit of restoration project to it. Trying to bring it back to life a little bit. Uh, replace some of the worn out components, parts, stuff like that. Uh, today's video, we're going to be going over how to replace our fog light assemblies. So as you could see, there not only is the lens itself hazy, but inside there, the bottom part of the reflector on both of them, this one's actually way worse than the other one, is not really reflective anymore. It's like the reflecting, like the either the paint or whatever they use to make the chrome inside that lens is completely peeled off and you just have a yellowish looking interior. They don't put out light like they should. Uh, I normally wouldn't worry too much about it because I'm not a fog light person, I don't use them. But on this vehicle, when you have your headlights on and you turn your steering wheel left to right, it lights up the fog light on the respective side in order to add light to the corner for cornering. If it's gonna do that, regardless of me having control over that, I would like it to be able to put out as much light as possible. So we are gonna be replacing those worn out fog light assemblies with some new assemblies that I picked up. Uh, I will put a link in the description to where I purchased these from just so you guys can have an idea. Um, they weren't crazy expensive. I wanna say they're only like 30 or 40 bucks for the pair of them. I don't know how they're gonna work out longevity wise, maybe because they're a little bit cheaper. They'll be, you know, they'll you know, wear out sooner. I don't know, we'll see, but we're gonna go over how to get those replaced today. So let's get to it. All right, so first thing you wanna do if you're replacing these fog light assemblies is you have to get this trim piece off. Now, luckily, pretty easy. There's actually four tabs in each corner of this trim piece that are popping it into place in this bumper, and it's relatively easy to pop out. You're just gonna pull back on your plastic a little bit so that you can get some kind of pry, preferably plastic pry tool behind it, and you're going to pop your trim out of the tabs that are holding it into the bumper. You're gonna hear some noises, it's okay. And our trim piece is out. Four clips in the corner there, four clips here on our trim piece. Obviously, if you go to pull your trim piece off and you have broken tabs or are missing tabs, you might want to look into replacing this because this is not something you want to come flying off and go flying down the road and hit somebody else's car. So now that we've got this trim piece off, there's going to be three screws here in the bumper that hold this fog light. Those are going to be T25. We're going to take those T25s out. and pull your fog light assembly out of your bumper. And then once you get it out far enough, you're gonna be able to get access to the plug connection on the back. I'll show you guys that right now. Your plug connection here on the back. And then once you get the fog light out and wanna get the plug connection off, you're just going to, on the sides of the plug, is a locking tab that you're gonna to wanna to pry out. The one on both sides and then pull the plug connection off. So those locking tabs are these two guys right here on either side. They need to be spread apart away from the light itself in order to be popped off of there. So like I said, not too hard of a job to do. Trim piece and three screws. I'm gonna pop, um, I'm gonna replace fog lights with our replacement ones and we'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so as you can see, new lights mounted up. They look fantastic. I'm super excited with the results. Um, I did want to show you guys on the new lights as well as these old ones, there is an adjustment screw here on the inside edge. I want to say that's got a Phillips head in it as well as it's probably like a six millimeter Allen. You have to adjust them with the trim piece off. There's not a hole through the trim piece in order to adjust them. I checked the adjustment on my replacement ones and they seem to be adjusted in the same place as these. I don't really know if that's the proper adjustment just because of how bad these are. They're not really putting out light that I can use to adjust with. Um, but I will get these adjusted now that I have new ones in there. They actually work properly. Uh, just against a wall, park them up, and just make sure that they're not, the adjustment's not for height as much as it is for 
left to right adjustment whether or not they're lighting up the corner that they're supposed to be lighting up so you can adjust them if you need to um, just by that screw obviously the new ones look 10 times better than the old ones that we had in there and hopefully will give me some light output while cornering like they're supposed to uh, if you guys have any questions about this video please comment down below be sure any question answer any questions you guys have if you have any questions about anything that i've done on this car to this point or anything that i you know could give you information on uh, please feel free to comment on this video or any of the other ones and i'll answer your guys's questions uh, i would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and i'll see you later